Hello YouTube viewers, hope you're all doing good. Welcome to this video. I'm Venkat and this is just me an open source channel. Right, this video is going to be a very quick one. I just I just want to give you some updates about my uh, Kubernetes GitHub repository. So if you're following my uh, channel and my Kubernetes series, you might have noticed uh, the latest version of Kubernetes is 1.16.0. And so far, I haven't done any video. The only video that I've done using uh, Kubernetes version 1.16.0 is uh, the previous video about the kubectl crew plugin, how to manage your uh, plugins, install, delete uh, the plugins using crew. Uh, the previous video, I used that, uh, I basically used the uh, Kubernetes version 1.16.0. But so far, all my 56 or 57 videos so far were all based on uh, versions older than version 1.16.0. So if you're following my video and you're doing Vagrant up because I've got a, a Vagrant provisioning scripts in my GitHub repository and if you're used to uh, checking out my GitHub repository and doing Vagrant up, uh, at this point, when you do Vagrant up, it's going to give you a version 1.16.0 cluster, right? Uh, Kubernetes cluster. But I wanted to show you, I wanted to tell you uh, <coughs> just a heads up that all my manifests, all my YAML files that I've got in my GitHub repository won't work with version 1.16.0. There are basically few changes uh, they introduced uh, in 1.16.0. They didn't actually introduce any changes, but they deprecated some uh, options that I've been using so far in the older versions of the Kubernetes. So if you are wondering, uh, following my previous videos and wondering why this YAML file, why this manifest is not working, uh, it might be because you are running version 1.16.0. So I'm gonna show you a quick example. If you hit that problem, what you need to do and so on, right? Okay, so kubectl uh, version minus minus short. As you can see, I'm running Kubernetes version 1.16.1. .1. So basically I did a Vagrant up. I downloaded my Kubernetes uh, GitHub repository and cd to Vagrant provisioning. And then here I did the Vagrant up command. So I got my Kubernetes cluster ready, which is version 1.16.0. Okay, so. Uh, the YAML files, the manifest files that I've used in all my videos are under YAML's directory, okay? So all these YAML files, if you try to use that in the version 1.16.0 cluster, uh, most of them, they won't actually work, okay? So for example, let's pick one of the uh, example here, nginx deployment, this one here, 1-nginx deployment. Let's see what's in that YAML file. We I one dash nginx deployment dot yaml and you can see it's a very simple nginx deployment nothing strange about it two replicas the image is at the default nginx image api version pay attention to that one api version is extensions slash v1 beta 1. if you're using kubernetes cluster prior to any version older than 1.16 for example 1.13 1.14 1.15 it wouldn't be a problem. So kubectl create minus f, and if you give that YAML file, it will happily deploy the uh, nginx deployment in your cluster. But with version 1.16.0, it's not gonna work. Yep, that's the error you will be seeing. No matches for kind deployment in version extensions slash v1 beta one. That's because uh, with version 1.16, they have deprecated this API version. So they have made lots of changes. They have deprecated some of the API versions. Uh, well, you can actually check what's been deprecated. Kubernetes 1.16.1.16 deprecated APIs. And uh, there's the link here. I'll put the link in the description for you if you want. And the very top, you can see uh, if you're using daemon set, deployment, stateful set, and replica set, we normally use the API version as, if you take any example, any deployment, any service, or any stateful set, deployment, replicas, or anything, we would have been using API version as extensions v1 beta 1. So that is deprecated in version 1.16.0. So we have to replace that with 
apps slash v1 otherwise it won't work so how would you go about if you've got hundreds of uh yaml files uh, would you go about uh renaming or would you go about updating the api version on every one of them now you don't have to do that there is a command to convert your old yaml file to a newer version which i'm going to show you right now and that's for daemon set deployment stateful set replica set and for network policy again extension v1 beta 1 has been replaced by networking.kas.io slash v1 and if you're using pod security policy again extension v1 beta 1 changed to policy slash v1 beta 1 all right so i haven't in any of my videos i haven't actually used pod security policy yet but i've got a video to do i've got a to-do list to uh, show you about the pod security policies which i'll come to um, in the future video uh, again network policy i haven't used it in any of my videos uh, most of my videos were around the daemon set deployment stateful set replica set and all have been we've been using extensions v1 beta 1 so we need to change that to apps v1 so if you're wondering why it's not working in your kubernetes cluster it's because you're running the latest version of kubernetes where these api versions has been deprecated all right okay so how would you go about doing that you can either edit your yaml file change the extension api version to apps v1 or there is a simple command kubectl convert minus f one dash nginx deployment dot yaml and if you just type that and now you can see the api version it has changed that to apps v1 so it's not going to do anything it's not going to deploy any resource kubectl convert will just spit out uh, to the standard out uh, the converted document converted file and what you can do is you can redirect that to uh, another file nginx uh, .yaml or something and then you can create that file okay that's done now if i look at nginx .yaml, cool so we have api version changed to apps v1 so now we can use kubectl create minus f nginx .yaml. and if you don't want to do that you can always uh, redirect that to uh let me actually show you kubectl convert minus f so this is what we did earlier and if you don't want to redirect that to uh, a file you can always pipe that to kubectl create minus f dash so that will dynamically deploy uh, the resource it will convert at the same time it will deploy but it won't write to any document any file but if you want you can redirect that to a file to whatever you want okay that's done and now you can see deployment nginx deploy has been created kubectl get all cool uh running container is creating and running so we have deployment nginx nginx deploy and so on cool so that, that, that's really what I wanted to show you. If you are in my GitHub repository under YAMLs directory, so I've done, basically I've used all these YAMLs in various uh, of my videos. Uh, and in every single YAML file, you have to change the API version. If it's a daemon set, deployment, stateful set, or a replica set, you need to change it. Let's take a look at one more example. Let's look at uh, for NFS nginx.yaml. Yep, API version is extensions v1 beta 1. Wherever you see that, please change that to apps v1 only if you're using version 1.16.0. All right, cool. And this is not anything new. I just wanted to give you some update about the changes that are happening in version 1.16.0, which was released uh, last month. Probably by the time you're seeing this video, uh, you'd have already uh, sorted this out. But in case if you're wondering why this is happening so this is the reason uh api version has been deprecated extension v1 beta 1 deprecated in place of that you have to use apps v1 all right so if you've got any questions or any comments any issues any feedback please leave me a comment i should be able to get back to you at the earliest i can and if you like this video please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel this kubernetes series is an ongoing series i don't have any set of agenda or anything Whatever I learn, um, I subscribe to a lot of forums and um, uh, groups. So whenever I hear something new about Kubernetes, I will explore the concept and I will present it to you. All right. 
Thank you so much for your time watching this video. I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.